Yeah. You need a net? Small mouth. Or you got him? Oh yeah, you got him, dude. Nice one. That's not bad at all. That there's gonna be the average of what we catch today. Yeah, how many times are you gonna break your PB today, Calvin? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Greg and Calvin here today. And guys, today we've got a special guest, Adam from A Bit Fishy. All right, welcome back to another video. Oh, it's a monster. One's got it, one's got it. Got it. Oh, he came out. Yeah, he got it. I saw him hit it. He's a little one. Wow, look at that one. I got him. All right, guys, so we're out here at uh, one of my favorite creeks, we're chasing smallmouth. We're all gonna try to get on some big ones. Calvin's already popped one. He's calling it his PB, but I promise you guys, it's not his PB. All right, folks, stay tuned. It's gonna be a great one. There we go. There you go. There we go, guys. My first one in the morning. We are having a pretty good start to the day. I got a little bitty guy. Calvin's been slaying up on the good average, guys. He was sitting right up on the rocks right here, right along that area. Ah, ha, ha, missed him. Must have been a rock bass. Yeah, the rock bass are crazy in here, too. <laughs> you ain't eating my fish, Calvin. I told you. He tries to eat my bass all the time. He's a bass eater. You got to watch him. That's why I take him fishing with me, so I know he don't take my fish. <laughs> Calvin on? Heck yeah. Yeah, he's got a good one. I'm going to have to put a yeah, get up there and throw, throw right up against that, that tree over there, dude. Get your first 16 in the water. There you go. Calvin is tearing them up. That's like your smallest. If we can keep letting him get out in front of us, he's going to. <laughs> I just threw right down along that little rock yeah. line right there. <laughs> he's got a couple of black spots on his head, you see that? Yeah. A little bit of melanosin going on. Now, I done told Adam where to go catch a big one. He's not going to do it. I'm going to have to get up in front of him now. <laughs> I just watched somebody hit no, one Don't worry right about there. that. Don't worry about that. That ledge was perfect. That ledge is pristine. I got right? one. Oh, we came in. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What's that floating in? Uh, that's uh, one of the springs coming off the hillside. <laughs> the only creek that shows up on Google Maps is this one right here. You'll see a couple splits in here. Little creeks and stuff coming off the hillside. This is a big valley. We'll be down in, the, we'll be down in some big hills. As you can see as we get in here. Start to see the rock walls building up on the left end and right of us. And I don't have anything. I don't see anything on these around here. There's so much rock. And even when we were driving, there was a couple of... It looked like you didn't want to drive off of <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're in the valley. You get me out of here. Yeah, I want you to get up there and throw into that tree. I want to see you catch a giant real quick. All right, Greg, put me on. Yeah. I caught a few 16 pluses right here, man. Whatever you can to get as close as you can to that tree. It's the deepest pocket right here. I'm, I'm doing good. Greg's on. So that's why I don't cast in there. So that's why I don't cast in there. <laughs> Got a rock bass. Oh, that's a big rock bass. That's a good rock bass, bro. Well, you want to take some of these home, Calvin. You can take all these home if you want. <laughs> <laughs> the fatty rock bass, guys. He's a little beat up. Hmm, missed him. Nope. I think another rock bass. Feels like another rock bass. 
Yeah, a little smally. Okay. A little skinny one. That little guy. I'm gonna find some big ones. There you go. You set that hook that time. Holy. Jeez, dude. Alright, my first fish dude. on the board. It's a good one, it's just the wrong species we're after, but I will definitely take it. Look at that rock bass, and he's had a bit of a rough life, I think, but man, that is a beautiful rock. Probably the biggest rock bass I've ever caught. It's the biggest rock bass I've seen in person. That's like a Missouri rock bass right there, man. Alright guys, a couple really nice rock bass back there by Adam. I caught just some average ones. Really struggling guys to get these small mouth to hit. I think we're gonna switch uh, to a faster moving bait on our way back through. We believe that the cloudy water has just got the fishing all screwed up. All right guys, stay tuned. That's what I was trying to do too, myself. A rock bass. No, a little small now. No, a little rock bass. Can you already tell how much the cold, murky water has affected these fish? Jesus, bro. Man, I just wanted to talk about you for a minute. We were trying to have a conversation, uh, sir. I ran across the guy on YouTube with Target. Well, I know that extreme Philly fishing dude that's always fishing with uh, one rod. All he does is target like as many possible species as he can. He does a lot of micro fishing. Yeah, he's got that little camera camera box and stuff to was take that, pictures. Was that a fake like or dead salmon on that, that 208 dude's video? Yeah, it was his bait. He's like, this is a, this is a bullhead, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a nice one. one. Uh, one of the river snake catfish and one of the guys I watched, small channel, he did a parody of 618 fishing. Oh, yeah. Using a Snickers bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he reels in his bait. He's like, oh, look at this guy. This is a bullhead trout. It's beautiful. And he's like, let's let this guy go. And it's like, he puts his bait in the water. It's like floating. It's like, ah, he'll be all right. He's just sleeping, right? <laughs> 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 it's really funny as hell, bro. <laughs> Ah, I threw that right on a rock, dude. That's all I had a big one. <laughs> what was that, Calvin? I'm lucky I got that out. I'm so in love with you. You got me down again. Calvin's, Calvin's got a good one. That's a PB right there, Calvin. Oh, oh shit. You're going to have to bring him this way, Calvin. You're going to have to bring him this way. Oh, oh yes. That's a creek smell. Dude, That's a personal smell best there. right there, dude. By far. Oh, man, oh. that is massive. Oh my god, personal best right there guys. I am so excited. Just beautiful smallmouth bass right there. Such a good fight. He put up such a good fight. guys finally we walked so far we got our way back here we knew or at least had a great idea there was going to be a big smallmouth in here adam and calvin actually snuck around this tree come up through the hole and then they sat right there in the pocket where they're at guys and uh, they were able to grab a hold of one of the bigger smallmouth in here it's a beautiful fish we measured out 17 and a half and it was two pounds flat 
I, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Uh, I didn't want to hold the fish out very much longer, so we went ahead and got the release. All right, guys. Go. Oh, he got off. That's right. Damn, it's a big one right beside him, dude. Two of them. Got me? Yeah, it's got me. Got me right into the dang thing. So violent. I was in a hurry though. I didn't want to lose another one. He brought it right to me though as soon as he hit it. Oh, I'm gonna say, there ain't no way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three in a row, dude. You guys gotta get up by that tree. I oh, already got off. Hard to set a hook when a fish is swimming it at you. Yeah, how you screw a hole up, man. You let Greg have first dibs. Like, let me run a hook in everything's mouth first, guys. All right, guys, lunch break. Calvin and uh, Adam are inside the gas station. We just left McDonald's. Got us some cheeseburgers and some sweet tea. All right, we're going to head back over to another stretch, a stretch I uh, took Bobby Blades into from straight to the point. Uh, let's see if we can't catch anything, guys, for a nice evening trip. Uh, the first stretch, guys, uh, was actually pretty good. Uh, we only caught the one real big one. But, you know, that's fine. You know, we still caught some giant, giant rock bass. I mean, for Indiana guys, I, I don't know about you southern guys or you northern guys, but here in central Indiana, those are some giant rock bass. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to get uh, resituated here, get back out to the next spot, and uh, we're going to catch some big ones, guys, for the night's up. This is where I go in at. But I do it right up here by the church because there's a there's trail I've already made. I usually park right here. I almost think they keep that cut for me now because they see me here every day. <laughs> I do, man. I get off work and I take this road home. This this goes back out to Ellisville too. I'll come here. I'll park right here. I'll jump out. I'll walk right through here. <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, we did. A rock bass. Small mouth, yeah. Rooster tails for the wind, guys. There we are. That's what we've been trying to do. Okay. Let's double up with some big ones now, man. Yeah. Turn to you. He looked like he was barely hooked, but he didn't. Yeah, turn out mine was. Get a hold of it. All right. Yeah, let's get something bigger now. Now that they're biting the rooster tails, let's go hit the other spot again. <laughs> yeah, what we should have been using today. Yeah, Calvin's got one. Yeah, just use the wrong lure all day. That's a good one. Yeah, he kind of whopped it, dude. Uh, he's not bad. I don't think so. Man, he wasn't playing games coming through there. It's an improvement from what we've been catching. <laughs> Man, I watched him do just come out there and annihilate it when I come through there. Right in this chain, just sitting right here. Yeah, let's get up further where the big ones are, man. Let's see if we can't get these big ones to hit these rooster tails. All right, guys, he whopped it. Maybe this is a good sign that these big ones are ready to feed because he was not here earlier. We were just here not too long ago, and we could see through the water then, too, and it did not have anything like that hanging in it that we noticed. So he came out from underneath the tree, most likely. Oh, uh, yeah, it's right there, dude. We just seen one a nice one just take off off that corner. Hopefully it's not too big, is it? Yeah, it's not the one I seen moving. I saw a nice one moving across there. He was heading towards that tree. He was nice. At least as big, if not bigger than the one I just caught. And I think he was bigger than the one I just caught.
<laughs> you want two, Greg? Yeah. Little well. rock bass. Had to get my pockets out of the wetness. I got my goodies in there. I can't be letting that get all wet. There we go. Right on, man. Might be my smallest catch of the day. What is it? A little bit small mouth, like three inch. <laughs> Muscle in a man too with that little rod. Yeah, I thought I had a good one there for a minute. It is. He gave up so quick. He pulled my drag right away. I thought I had something nice. A false alarm. Yeah, he kind of just rolled over to his Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we found out that when they get up to a pound, they don't give up so easily. <laughs> yeah, no. I bet you one of those weighed a pound at least. At least a pound. They were too fat not to have. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the episode. I had a blast with Adam. Had a blast with Calvin. If you guys enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like. If you're not subscribed already, guys, so go ahead and hit that subscribe. All right, guys, catch you on the next episode.